have made it to the Man Manitou? Manitou? Is that right? Yep, the Manitou Cliff Dwellings. Cliff Dwellings. So we are going to go check it out. We did Cliff Dwellings, where was that at? On the way to Grand Canyon, right? The Gila Cliff Dwellings? Yeah. I think we have a video on that one. I think these are going to be a little bit newer age Cliff Dwellings, if that makes any sense. What was it, 1300 AD? Mm -hmm. Which is still pretty cool. It's like uh, built them into the side of the mountain, just like the Gila Cliff Dwellings. So. with a view. Yep. I'm not even going to show you what Lana thought was the Cliff Dwellings. <laughs> I mean, come on. Basically a modern hotel, but it looks pretty neat. How cold it is in here. It's frigid in here. You would love it. It's like natural air conditioning. This doesn't have as dark of a history as the Gila's. No, I wanna, I don't want to service right here, but I want to look up like the time difference. Hmm. Like, that was like time as we're finding out about about the same time as the Gila cliff dwellings these are a lot better shape I'm curious to see if these are actually like a hundred percent original or if they've been repaired because the Gila cliff dwellings were like untouched just kind of weathered through time and not repaired or anything so I guess we'll go inside the museum and find out all right so this Pueblo that's behind me um, it says that descendants of the Anasazi lived here and that they lived there, or it was built in 1898 and they lived there until 1984. Like local Native Americans lived here. So they moved from those cliff dwellings to something like this, huh? Um, I don't know about that, but what I'm, what I'm finding is that this Anasazi culture was like known to be advanced, which makes sense because the Gila cliff dwellings were nothing like that. Well, they did have a lot of vandalization over there at the Gila Cliff Dwellings, too. Yeah, but still, just looking at, like, the structure of how those are built compared to what we saw at the Gila Cliff Dwellings, 
I can see where this culture was much more advanced for the time period. Mm, these pueblos are pretty nice. They are. I'm curious to go, you know, see them. They say that's a three-story structure. <laughs> to the dentist how important taking care of your teeth is because that was like the leading cause of death is bad teeth. Got a nice view. Definitely. I mean you definitely have a view from your house. <laughs> Well, that was neat and short. Yeah, it's definitely worth seeing though. I think it, it was only like 20 something bucks for us to go see. Yeah, and uh, you can park like five feet away from them. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's cool to see. Um, I mean, if you're into any kind of history at all, I mean, it's cool seeing how the Native Americans and descendants from them lived years ago. And Yep, 12 bucks a person to get in, by the way, for adults. Yep, but if you're in the area and need something quick to do, I recommend it. All right. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.